Have you ever been in a busy room, like at a house party, a year-end function, or a restaurant? And while you're engaged in conversation, you don't hear what anyone else is saying. It's noisy, and you're focused on the person in front of you. But all of a sudden, something grabs your attention, and you just can't help but listen in. Welcome to your brain's most powerful tool, your reticular activating system. So today I want to focus on something that's very big in many self-help books. A lot of thought leaders and some of the world's most successful people are huge advocates of this too. I want to discuss visualizations and manifestations and how it is possible to make anything you want happen. I know, I know, it sounds a little airy-fairy and even though I can deal with airy-fairy, I know many of you can't. You need cold, hard facts. (laughs) Well, that's what I have for you. So I've done some research on the science behind this, the biological truths to reveal why this is such a talked about and successful topic. Now let's take a step back. So the story I just spoke about, you at an event, when something grabs your attention and you just can't help but listen in. Let's look at what happened before that event. So let's pretend you've been planning a holiday, you've researched a bunch of destinations, but your heart is set on a peaceful trip to Bali. You've researched all there is to know about the different tourist destinations and places to stay, but now it's just about finding that perfect hidden gem. Move a few days forward and you've arrived at the event with a busy room full of people and you're talking to your friend about the delicious chocolate pudding that they had at the last event. When all of a sudden you hear someone say, on our last trip to Bali, we stayed in the most beautiful villa. Somehow you heard that. And now everything that your friend is telling you about their favorite dessert has become absolutely muted. You are watching their mouth and nodding, but you're only hearing close to the turtle sanctuary and such a stunning sea view. Even though you have someone talking directly to you, only centimeters away, you are completely tuned into the Bali traveler five meters away. So how did that happen? Well, your reticular activating system, or RAS, is a network of neurons located in the brainstem that is responsible for filtering information your brain receives. It's basically the translator between what you hear and your subconscious mind. How's this for an interesting fact? The conscious mind can handle 40 bits of data per second. Now that's impressive, right? But the subconscious mind can handle 40 million bits of data per second. So the RAS becomes vitally important to make sure that that best 0.0000001% makes it to your conscious brain. It understands what is important to you based on what you prioritize in your thoughts and filters information accordingly. So because you've been spending so much time thinking about Bali, it knew that that bit of information needed to be pushed to the front. Now that outlines why what you spend your time thinking about is so important. It's literally the gateway to identifying opportunities. Here's another interesting stat for you. We think, on average, 75,000 thoughts per day. 91% of them are the same thoughts you had yesterday. And if we keep thinking the same things, we'll keep getting the same results. Now let's think about the type of thoughts you have during the day. And I want you to be brutally honest with yourself here. What percentage of your thoughts are positive and ambitious? And what percentage includes fear, negativity, judgment, resentment, self-doubt, and self-criticism? What is that telling your RAS to focus on? When you start focusing less on the fears and what could go wrong and start focusing on confidence and the positive things that will happen, your brain will naturally alert you of opportunities to make that happen and will shut off any negative association. 
What also starts to happen is that the more you believe in yourself, the more confidence you have in your future, the more upright you stand, the better your body language is in conversations, which inevitably makes people see you as the more powerful lobster. And if I lost you there, I recommend reading rule number one in Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules to Life. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. It will draw people to you, which opens up more doors and elevates you in status, plus the bonus perk of naturally increasing serotonin. So when it comes to visualizations, these are so important because they're an opportunity for you to define clear goals and to reinforce the important elements to you, like where you are standing, who's with you, what it feels like, maybe even what it smells like. And you might do this during meditation. It's a great way to just sit and close your eyes and visualize this perfect moment. But I know a lot of people find that difficult to do. They either have a lack of time to dedicate to it or a lack of concentration, or they just find it frustrating. So here's a hack I recently invented. Maybe other people do this too, but I'm quite proud of it. So I'm claiming it as my own. At the end of 2021, I created a Pinterest board called 2022, and I started pinning all the things I wanted to achieve in the year. I then created an empty board called Done. And this is a great way to visually identify my goals and keep track of them. Every day I go into my board and remind myself of what it is I'm going to achieve. The bonus with Pinterest is that once you've started pinning these things, the Pinterest algorithm starts to add similar items to your feed. So it's a constant reminder and reinforcement. Now we're just past mid-Feb and I've moved four things into my done folder with the fifth one ready to move by the end of March. And what this does as well is that it reminds you of what you've achieved because so often we have these mini achievements throughout the year that we, that we forget about, we don't even consider and not remembering them doesn't help to boost our track record in our minds. It doesn't help to boost our confidence. But when we look back at our done board and we can go like, geez, in eight weeks, I've already done, ticked four things off. Cool, let me keep going. I can do this. I'm on the right track and I'm going to make this happen. It's just the best feeling. So if you're not a Pinterest fan, there are other methods um, like adding something pertinent to your lock, up, your lock screen on your phone. Um, it could be a sales target. It could be a holiday destination. It could be anything you want to achieve as long as it's something specific. Because we unlock our phones, believe it or not, up to 400 times a day. So every single time you look at your screen is a constant reminder. Now, I need to warn you, this whole hack is a very powerful tool, being able to visualize something and think positive thoughts and do your daily affirmations. It's great, but it's something you need to be con consciously aware of every day. It's definitely not a once-off fix. So the more you become aware of your thoughts and what you tell yourself and the types of seeds you're planting in your mind, the more successful you'll be and the easier the habit becomes of thinking positive thoughts. So I want to end with two quotes. The first one is this. You don't see things in life as they are. You see things in life as you are. I love it. I think it's so powerful. Let me say it again. You don't see things in life as they are. You see things in life as you are. And my second quote, again, I love it. You might've heard this before. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Thank you so much for listening to my rambling. I hope it's inspired you to change your mindset and achieve great things. Remember to give me a follow on LinkedIn, Kirsten Marskalk or on Instagram at The Pink Kirst. And as always, please feel free to share your thoughts and share this episode far and wide. Until next time, ciao.